Hello and welcome back to the Loud Mouse Podcast. I'm your host, Quite, and today I'm joined by my co-host, Diesel. Uh, hi. And Brandon. Impeachment! 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 Alright, we're good. Let's talk about it. Oh, God. Well, first of all, I want to die because wait, this shit is... Wait, first of all, I want to say, when he was in, in a, wait, put in office, I couldn't vote. I am safe. <laughs> oh, right. my God. Back up. <laughs> it, it, you can't even have, like, a public opinion on politics because, like, some crazy person will drop down from the sky and just spend their entire <laughs> days, like, insulting you. Sky. I mean, Literally, that's really what it is. It's like somebody with a check mark and, like, 2K followers, and they're just going to be like, fuck tweet, you for the rest of your life. You make a tweet, and someone literally just jumps to the roof of your fucking home and assaults you for your decision. I, I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised. Shit's so crazy now, like, you'd get assaulted for saying the most benign stuff. But, like, yep. yeah, the president's being impeached, sort of, kind of. It's a lot more complex than what people seem to be thinking on Twitter. Um, which kind of sucks the fun, I guess, for people who were happy about this. But, like, you need to be realistic about it, personally. I don't know. We were talking about I it mean, before the podcast. I also thought, like, I also thought impeachment was just, like, immediate at office because the way that everyone talks about impeachment. Uh, but it was, like, a huge step-by-step -step process. And there's been... So he's the third president to be, like, impeached, quote-unquote. Um, and, like... The other two never actually got convicted in front of the office. So the first one was Andrew Johnson. He was the 17th president. Um, he was impeached, right? In the title of impeached. But he never actually got convicted for anything. He, he avoided conviction. So he served a full four-year term. And then Nixon resigned, correct? Before yeah. he was impeached? He got, impe um, he got impeached, I think. But then he resigned before the process was over, I believe. Or it could Yeah, so he couldn't, have, he couldn't have been convicted. Because uh, he was impeached, so if He's if Trump gone. gets if he gets thrown out of office like against his will, he will be the first to actually be convicted and also, thrown out. Also, Clinton was impeached. That too. I thought or it was three. He, did he have impeachment charges brought up against him? Let's look that I up. I think it was charges he, Clinton, because Clinton, I don't. He was impeached. I'm pretty sure, but he didn't. Everyone like, he wasn't saying, convicted. Everyone's saying th he's the third, which means. Well, maybe okay. If he's the if he's one of the three, that means Nixon resigned before he could get voted to be impeached. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I just he, looked was, it up. he was impeached. Yeah. All okay, right, so it goes it goes Andrew Johnson and then Clinton. Right, I Andrew Johnson. So. I guess do we include Nixon or maybe well, I think Nixon like maybe never... like Nixon resigned. Like okay, so there is there is um so the others were labeled as the impeachment of so and so. The uh, Richard Nixon article is impeachment process against, so I'm assuming he uh, probably resigned halfway through it before it could be completed. Yeah, yeah. So he he resigned before he could actually get like quote unquote impeached. So it's, it's it is three, but it's not Nixon. It's Johnson, Andrew Johnson, Clinton, and Trump. Those are the three then, because there's only three in history that have had have had the title of impeached. So, but then he wasn't convicted, right? I don't um, think anybody who's been impeached has been convicted. Yeah. And by it's convicted, they don't... Process. You don't get convicted of... It's not like getting convicted of, like, a crime, like a crime crime. It's like, you basically get banned from ever surfing in public office again. Like, that's that's really what it's happens. It's like getting like, banned from a Minecraft like, server. The, the people... <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, I... Okay, so I seriously don't think that the president... Excuse me, is he the president? I don't know. Nothing makes sense anymore. Well, as of right now, yeah, he still is. He is well, as of right now, he's still the president. Like, he doesn't, it's not like it's gone, you know? My brain, this whole, like, ordeal has made my brain slow down by 50%. Yo, my fucking folds have turned smooth, bro. <laughs> I so don't like, know. No, continue. So, if, like, someone has, like, a smooth brain, like, you know Her how, like, koala. the reason a brain has, like, its wrinkles, right? It's because yeah, it's, like, it, one long tube. Well, it's to fit more mass, like, more brain mass. So yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, it's, like, it's like the brain is, like, one long tube that's, like, folded on itself, right? So if someone has, like, a smooth brain, like, is it just, like, one really wide tube or what? Okay, we can talk about, we can talk about smooth brain because there is an animal with a smooth brain. It's called a koala. <laughs> oh, that explains a lot. Fucking no, idiots. No, koalas, so we're going we're gonna to talk about koalas now because they're fucking stupid. Who, who cares about the impeachment? Co that's Who a koala cares about brain. The it, it's, that's a koala brain. It's just fucking smooth. Now koalas. It looks so like a fucking, fucking mud. I, 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 this feels like it's like oh god. I don't know if we can talk about the impeachment. <laughs> Let's talk about koalas. Like it's like click. 
No, no, no. Trump's smooth brain just like this koala, all right? So who cares, right? Damn, Anyways. Brandon's anyway. bringing in all the Democrats to his channel. <laughs> Come to me. I, I really, I have a heavy opinion. I really give a shit. I, I support your values. Please give me uh, money. <laughs> I support everyone's value. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyways, um, so koalas are really fucking stupid, um, so they can't give birth properly, or that, that's pandas. Anyways, so koalas, they can't fucking, like, they can't eat if the food that they're eating isn't on a tree. That's how dumb they are. So if you put the fucking leaves they eat in front of them, they won't eat them, they'll starve to death. Because they don't understand what it is, because it's not on a tree. That's what a smooth brain gets you. That I fucking level is stupid. I feel like they just lack object permanence, period. Like, okay, let me... Looking at this image, let me Most think of Most of animals couple. lack object permanence. Imagine object permanence. being an animal and starving to death because you didn't eat the food that was right in front of you. But, like, I'm thinking of, like, a couple things I can compare this to. I said mudfish, uh, some raw chicken breast, uh, some breast implants, silicone. It actually... No, it looks like a fucking raw chicken... Uh, raw piece of chicken. I want to take like a bite out of it. Like not cooked. I just want to take a bite out of a raw smooth brain. Mm. It's a bit thick. Her koala brain smooth. Are there any like brains that are like a delicacy to eat in certain cultures? I'm Yeah, I'm monkey sure. brains I've heard. Ew. Are a delicacy. Like, I forget what like, culture. It's like distant cannibalism. It's like distant cannibalism. Everything's that, distant yeah. that's, cannibalism. That's a, re- that's a really great uh, sentence if you're going to be a vegan. Like, damn. <laughs> that's distant cannibalism, bro. That That's just the most, like, eating, obtuse eating, way to say eating I'm eating plants meat. plants is distant cannibalism, technically. Yeah, don't we share, like, 98% of our DNA with a banana or something? Yeah, oh, that's something cannibalism. like that. Yeah, I guess that's distant cannibalism. I guess, okay. I, really, I, guess I really can't eat myself out. So the fact about the whole koala thing not being able to eat leaves that aren't um, that aren't on the thing is like actually true. They they can't discern that it's their food if it's not on the tree they usually eat it from. That's how fucking dumb they are. Um, what else? What else? They only eat these stupid leaves. I can't pronounce it. E eucalyptus leaves. Eucalyptus. 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 Oh my yeah. god! They butchered that. Eucalyptus leaves. Um. And the only, they're one of the only three animal species that survive on such a diet. Um, it's like, yeah, no, it's like natural selection. It's like... Wait, the leaves are poisonous? <laughs> it, it, I think it's like something in their bodies is like... make. I think their digestive system is so slow or something, it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, oh, they sleep that. over 24... They sleep over 20 hours a day. Yeah, no, so, like these fucking... Like there's... Natural selection should not have allowed these little shits to live. Well, pandas shouldn't have lived either. Exactly. Them and sloths. sloths pandas like, are like... Paw... <laughs> sloths mistake their own arms for tree branches and try to, like, reach for <laughs> and them. They fall. And they fall off. Yes. <laughs> but They're like, so goddamn cute, though. <laughs> pandas are, like, really fucking dumb. Like, pan... Okay, so pandas, first of all, if pandas give birth to more than one cub, they won't care for the other one. They'll let it die. So, like, if, the, if this fucking mother has two children, they literally just throw one away. <laughs> so, they, like, the, the panda species can physically not get bigger because of how stupid they are. Yeah, and then, so, also, their their digestive system is, like, for meat. Like, they're carnivores. But they only eat bamboo. They eat nothing else. And that, that makes them sleep a lot more and all that shit. And, like, what is it about, like, what is it about their, like... So they can't raise kids. They can only raise one at a time. They're carnivores, but they eat fucking bamboo for some reason. Um, like, what's the other stupid thing about them? There's one more that I can't remember. Uh, I feel like there was like a like they refuse to mate under certain circumstances. Oh yeah, no, they're really shit at mating. They have to practically force it if they want to fucking survive. <laughs> like humans practically have to force pandas to mate <laughs> because they don't. <laughs> They're just so, like, they're so shit at existing. The only reason they're alive be like, is because of human Pandas arrangement. are so much worse at mating than me. <laughs> <laughs> Evil. Right, Evil. But yeah, pandas are stupid. And then I think, like, koalas also have, like, really, really... It's something about their poop. It's, like, really infectious and, like, diseased. Yeah, most something. most poop isn't you know uh, good for you. Like you no, but there's especially it. bad from what I've heard. I'm not yeah, yeah. Sure usually that's why it smells, Brandon. 
He's like, I'm not gonna go eat koala shit, all right? I mean, I'm not gonna I'm eat shit, saying, period. I've never seen like, shit that's edible. Is it edible. like eating it or just being around it too much? I don't know. I think they poop on other koalas, too, because they just don't have any idea of anything. They're just really stupid. They're just really dumb. What's the dumbest animal in the world? Something um, without a brain? This thing, probably. Dumb as in, like, how stupid it is, or as in, I can't believe this thing is real? No, like, dumbest animal in the sense of, like, okay, jellyfish, yeah, shut the fuck up. They don't even yeah, have jellyfish brains. doesn't have a brain, like, it they, literally isn't, like... This looks, would, like, this looks like Photoshop, though, right? If like, we pit a does. koala and a jellyfish against each other, the jellyfish would win. That's a real animal. I, I've seen I've seen that. Those things, like, jump. Aren't they poisonous, too? I don't know why I've heard that. This thing looks like yeah. it should be really big and at a Monster Hunter. Okay, that... I hate snakes. Snakes like that terrify me. Are you kidding me? That thing looks like a dragon. This looks like an animatronic. That's a snake. Okay, that's just a fucking retarded looking shark. That's that's a goblin shark, I think. Wait, Wait, what's we the, got the what's we the... got the little squeaky frog that makes hold up. What's the joroba? What's the joroba? I it? think that oh, that's is that the... a type of Roomba. Oh no, that's that's the fucking uh, that's, that's the, the fucking mouse you link. That's the mouse that has bird legs. That's the tenth dumbest animal on the planet. <laughs> uh, oh. There's. What's this other one that I found? Ninth oh, is it, a cane toad. It, it looks like a cat, but it crawls on trees like a fucking monkey. And oh, it looks the so goofy. The goblin shark's also stupid. Fossa. I love the, the goblin shark. There, he looks so goddamn goblin. menacing, dude. Like, that That's looks like a Batman one. villain. Okay, so, according to this article, sloth is the stupidest animal in existence. At least mammal. Uh, turkeys are second, which I didn't know. I thought turkeys were somewhat smart. Are they not? Are they just dumb? I guess. Maybe. Um, oh, domesticated turkeys are the stupidest. I can't... Wait, so wait, like, wait, wait. Domestic... Was... The only time wait, I've seen, me... like, a wild turkey was the first time we were in Boston. I've seen wild turkeys before. You saw... Wait, when did you see a wild turkey in Boston? <laughs> Do you remember, like, we were walking around, like... I think we were walking back from... We're Chicago in a city. <laughs> but no, we were walking through, like, the suburbs. It, it escaped the bush And there was, like, this bro. random turkey, like, on, like, this median. Just, like, chilling in this... I don't remember that. Did that actually happen? It was yeah. probably the first trip. There was some... Yeah, it was the first trip. It wasn't the 2019 one. Oh, it was uh, from... 20, yeah, 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 yeah. it was, like... Do you, but it was, like, we were walking back to that, like, rinky-dink basement B&B. And, like, fucking... There was, like... I think we saw, like, one or two different turkeys. It might not have been a turkey. It was a big-ass bird just chilling. And it looked like a turkey. Okay, wait. I, I want to read this, this like, snippet from this article. The, the domesticated turkey is indeed one of the dumbest animals in the world. They prefer to drink water only when it's falling from up top. And sometimes they die in the rain. <laughs> they are dumb enough to keep staring at the sky endlessly even when it's raining. They suffer from a hereditary condition called... I'm going to butcher this. Titanic torticollar spasms, which Titanic means... Titanic they... tortellini spasms. That's not what it is. Uh, which, <laughs> which means they occasionally stare at the sky nonstop, even when it's raining. The male turkeys have have such a high sex drive that sometimes they indulge in the sex with the cap the decapitated head of a female turkey. Excuse me. <laughs> Yo, turkeys be wild in them, bro. What the fuck? There's also a snippet about pandas. Yes, they are incredibly cute, but they are also insanely dumb. Pandas are carnivores, but they live on the plant diet. Yeah, I, I feel about like that. you just have it out for these animals. You're just like, I don't pandas like them. Are also so today I'm gonna spread propaganda. It's not that, that I don't like are. them. I'm just being honest with the world about how fucking stupid they are. Uh, but it's not that I hate them. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck. Sometimes female pandas get so irritated with their little ones that they kill their own babies. Nice. No wonder they're fucking dying. They can barely have the goddamn thing, and then they kill it when it upsets them. Flamingos yeah, are stupid nah. too. Wait, wait. The mingles are cute and beautiful. They are blessed with two legs, but they prefer to make use of only one in most cases. They sleep on one leg. Another example of their dumb behavior is that they try to catch fish while keeping their beaks upside down in the water, which is not a smart strategy. I don't know don't know if they do this because they are dumb or just because they want to look different from every other animal. Okay, that one's kind of... Where are you reading this? Red, pet, red, pandas, are inf red no. pandas are infinitely better Value than normal pandas. ValueWalk.com Value walk. Oh yes, you go on a hike for cheap. Before in my life, so that's interesting. Wait. So wait, Star wait, Wars wait. is out. <laughs> I don't uh, care. Wait, wait. There's, before, there's a thing about the, the cane toad. I want to wait. Cane toad found found plenty in Australia. Cane toads are so dumb. As wait, I, they wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Found, I, I'm stupid. I'm the stupidest animal. Uh, found plenty in Australia. There's so King much shit happening. Here you are talking as they about these fucking animals. Get. You, uh, did you, you'll did often you... see them humping in anything and everything, including dead animals, snakes, lizards, mice, salamanders, and other creatures. Their, male, their males 
even hump on female toads that have been run over by a car. <laughs> Cane toads are like ridiculously dumb, but like they're an invasive species in Australia. They were um they were brought in to like help stop a pest problem, but they ended up not even eating the pests that they wanted, and they had no natural predators in Australia, so they just like started fucking like crazy well, you, and you overrun know, the country. You want to know why they're an invasive species? The female toad can lay up to three thirty thousand eggs in one. Oh night. yeah, yeah, that too. Like they re- like like I said, they fuck like crazy. Not even fuck like not even fuck. They just pop them out like crazy. It's not even fuck like crazy. They pop them it's, out like shit. Oh yeah, like, uh, bringing it back to the impeachment thing. I just wanted to thought you guys would think this funny. <laughs> that can't uh, be Donald real, right? Trump. That's fake. No, that's it's not, not real. real. No. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's real. It's Donald Trump's account, but it's private, and, but it, and his profile picture is blacked out, and his bios need to think about some stuff. He's really going through <laughs> Have it you guys right now. seen the replies on, like, Donald Trump's tweets? Have, like, you ever gone through it? Like, gone through them? Yeah, I replied like, to his tweets. Like, two years ago. I just can't I, be asked anymore. So, I replied to his tweets as jokes before whenever they pop up on my timeline, and, like, people uh, take them really seriously, and, like, I get, like, I have to mute these fucking threads. Because these people, like, start full-on fucking debates in my replies to, like, a joke. Like, there was a video that was, like, about impeachment being the scam, and I made a joke, like, this video contains paid actors. And it's just a, it's just so many replies of people really, really <laughs> engaging with that. No, uh, I, I, people, like, get heated. Like, literally, there are people who have, that are verified by Twitter, who all they do is go into his replies and just are like, Fuck you, I hope you die, bitch, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I hope you get ran over by a reindeer, grandpa, blah, blah, blah. like, all this crazy shit. Unfortunately, it's not as funny as me. It's just people saying, like, <laughs> ridiculous things. I don't, like, I don't care if you don't like the guy, but, like, holy shit, people. Like, do something else with your day. <laughs> Brandon, I just realized your Twitter bio, your Twitter bio is just fuck you. Yeah, it changed it a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> what did it used to be? It was, like, a really long thing where it's, like, relates to rick from rick and morty blah 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 oh but yeah like, but like rick and morty wasn't on for so fucking long it changed it and then as soon as i changed it they're like season four is coming and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> i think my twitter bio was at its best when it was just size stand account six times over i hated that size stand you account you loved it oh he's not that was the best era of my career last week <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm just getting ready for Cyberpunk 2077. I mean, granted, March, we practically live in a dystopia now, but... <laughs> hey, I can roleplay in dystopia now. I mean, every All society right. is a dystopia. Um, I, I, I mean, I think we're getting closer to a cyberpunk dystopia. All we need is yeah, the we have mechanical the seems, we're, we're ready. seems more fun. I mean, yeah, it seems more fun. Of course it would. But then, like, when well, you think cyber- about it, it's not... Well, Cyberpunk Dystopia well, sounds fun. It's a good thing I'm that, not thinking about it then. <laughs> every, everyone assumes they'd be a protagonist that would break the law and shit. <laughs> so everyone no, assumes every, that yeah. they do that. <laughs> Re- in reality, if you lived in a Cyberpunk Dystopia, you'd live in a fucking tin can and you'd be in poverty all the time wondering where your next paycheck's gonna come. Like, that's what it would really be like for I a think, majority of people. I think if that, like, if, if it got to the point where, like, 80% of the population was, like, in that bad of poverty... I feel like it would just end up with, like, you know, revolutions. Right. Well, like, yeah, that happens in cyberpunk fiction all the time, where yeah. there's, like... So the issue is, right, so in cyberpunk media, there's, like, usually a disparity of, like, uh, wealth between, like, the top 1% and, like, everybody else, which is why you have the idea of, like, mega corporations and stuff like that. And this isn't, like... I mean, yeah, cyberpunk is supposed to reflect, like, our society, so there are, like... Like, you can't tell me Facebook or, like, Google isn't a mega corporation. They definitely are. Like, they're huge. They're massive. They hold incredible influence. Twitter, not so much. I don't know. They, they don't really buy into anything. I don't know wah, if Twitter's wah, bought wah. into anything. But, like, they what? Facebook Vine owns Oculus? Them. Oh, yeah, they, they, they bought Vine. And Periscope, but that also doesn't go anywhere. I mean, like, does anybody use Periscope? I remember I used Periscope once for, like, on stream, and then, uh... They were using a blowtorch for uh, marijuana use, and I had no idea what the fuck a dab was, and that's when I learned what a dab was. (laughs) (laughs) Because someone was lighting up a dab on Periscope. (laughs) (laughs) My old chat's just like, that's a dab. dab." I'm like, what the fuck's a dab, dude? (laughs) Dab? Like the dance? What? 
Yeah, Fortnite? I was really confused, especially since dabs were like popular then. <laughs> so yeah, that that was interesting. But, but yeah, uh, Periscope's kind of a shithole. I mean, like, I, it would be great if we lived in a society where you could get sunglasses implanted on your face. But uh, we're not there yet, unfortunately. But you can't get Google Glass and look like a massive asshole. I don't so think you can no, get Google you, Glass anywhere, okay. actually. They have there, there's different companies that, like, handcraft um, those kind of glasses now, You actually. do not look like an asshole wearing Google Glass. You look like a fucking idiot wearing Google Glass. Yeah, but, I don't. I wouldn't consider you an asshole. I just fucking probably bully well, you. Well, it just looks like, I don't know, I feel like there's something, like, associated with Google Glass that makes me think, like, oh, like, you're just the most painfully, like, out-of-touch wealthy individual. Like, there's just no, something just weird think, about like, it. I just think, how stupid are you to buy this? <laughs> like, like in this in this year, like how dumb are you? It's it's so behind. Like they made this in like what twenty fucking thirteen, twenty fourteen. Well, like, the thing is, they're still making like glasses, like smart glasses. Those are things that are made by companies today still. I think eventually, like smart glasses will become a real thing that everyone fucking owns. I but think, yeah, it'll become like more commonplace. But I feel like Google Glass was probably just ahead of the curve. They need to get to a point where it's, like, actually useful and not just, like, some fucking dumb thing you put in your face. Yeah, I mean, the, to make these commands, lo- like, less intrusive in your daily life, it's going to need to be wired to your brain so it can just interpret your thoughts real cool, like... That way you can get advertisements sent directly to your noggin. Beam directly to my Yo, head. E- Elon's doing that shit already. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I'd love to get Girl, advertisements like, in my bro. sleep. I'm gonna be like fucking seven years old. I'm gonna be like, fuck it. I got like five years left, anyways. I'm gonna get that shit in my fucking head. Well, I mean, considering like what is the curve where it's like technology increases at an exponential rate or whatever. Uh, we, anyway, it's it, it's gonna come curve. before we're like boomers. Like it's gonna come like when we're still. Working it's not adults. gonna be as are advanced we, are we still gonna, as we'd wait, like it to be. What, when we're older, like fifty, like how old boomers are now. Like what? Will we still be called boomers or like? They're what? gonna call us millennials. <laughs> no, they're gonna they'll call us. We're Gen Z though. They're just gonna come up with a new like pejorative. Yeah, but like they're like fucking fifty year olds now aren't boomers, are they? I mean, yeah, but like boomers are mindset, so maybe that'll carry over to like fucking us. No, I I don't think boomer as slang is gonna carry over. No, all the they're way gonna call us like maybe. millennials I'm not or sure, something. Though. They're gonna call us like millennials or some shit. It, there's, it'll be a word that literally doesn't exist yet, like because both boomer yeah. and millennial will be so like antiquated and relegated to like history books that it won't even matter. We'd say boomer millennial, and they call us the new word. <laughs> I that's that's honestly more likely because I mean like I don't I was playing Halo Reach and it was just very weird to see people with like tags that said like oo in them, like you know like the number tags for like Spartans. Dude, dude, what if? That was what if that is in really the weird. next what if in the next thirty fucking years like weeaboos take over and like Ubu and Owa were like socially acceptable and like I, all Are you this kidding me? They're shit. definitely already socially acceptable. No, they are fucking not, motherfucker. Dude, it, Do not it, say big... Uwu in my goddamn household. Homie, it, that's your household. That's not society. If my kid <laughs> says Uwu, he's getting he's he's getting Well put like up for weeb culture is already like pretty normally accepted in society. Like Yeah, but like weeb culture in the sense of like, oh yeah. cute anime girls. Oh I, I like anime. That's Not like you like, could literally go to like H and M and pick up an anime shirt with a yeah, design like, day stole. I, I feel like I feel like there's a distinct separation between like anime references and like hip hop and popular culture than there is like fucking uwu soft boy shit. Yeah, like like if someone fucking sends you a message, dude, like, let's say, like, let's say you're, like, I don't know, fucking DMing somebody brand new, right? And the first thing they fucking send you is, uwu nuzzles you. Are you gonna fucking think they're well, social? Well, I, I, I don't, I don't like. think the uwu nuzzles thing is gonna catch on like that, because that's, like, that's more, like, furry culture. That's definitely, like, a subculture, but, like, just the words uwu and owo, first of all, if they're not in the dictionary yet, they're going to be. Like, I'm calling it now. There's no I, way that's honestly, not gonna happen. I don't even know what either of them mean. <laughs> They're just like they're just like words to they're denote fa- like uh, are they, are they even actually, words right? or are they just sounds? I like thought symbolism. they were faces. I thought they were faces. Yeah, yeah they're, faces. I, they're also but faces. Yeah, they're meant to be faces at first, but like they've been like pronounced out loud as like funny meme, and they're okay, never used uwu, directly as faces uwu means, anymore. Uwu means like quote unquote a reaction to cuteness overload, and then owo is basically this is what I thought owo was. It's basically like this face, like the zero or the o with the dot and the o. 
like the surprise face, that's what Owo is. Um, that's Owo. So you fool. No. No. What do you What do you think the W sound comes from, Brandon? I don't fucking. I'm not thinking about. Oh, this. whoa. Yeah. Kill this, the weeds. Oh, whoa. Yeah, like I. I, I, if they're not in like the Oxford Dictionary by the end of next year, I, I will eat a sock. Okay. I feel, this this just like really reminds me. Not reminds me, but like it, it's so funny to think like you know how like uh, Drake's clothing line is OVO. Uh, didn't know that, but okay. That's also a face. It's meant to be a fucking owl, but like it's been forever tainted by this double V shit. Jesus. I Wait, mean, what like, is it? can you type it? It's just... Uh, it's just OVO. Oh, Ovo. Okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've seen this shit before. Yeah, some O-V-O. of the pieces are nice, but... Uh, well, it stands, but for, like, it stands uh... for October's very own, but the logo's an owl, so I know what it's really for, you piece of shit. Everyone's a furry in yeah, Weeb now. Weeb culture... No, you're right, Diesel. Weeb culture is, like, completely accepted in terms of, like, yeah, I watch anime. Anime's cool, or, like... For sure. And, and, like, well, the thing shows... is, I don't even think a lot of the people that kind of adapt to, like, the fashion might even watch anime. Because, like, no, probably I, I go into, like, those, like, fast fashion stores, you know, the, where they make the clothes in a sweatshop in, like, some Bangladesh or something, you know. And it's, like, they have clothes there that's, like, covered in head to toe in, like, Japanese katakana and hiragana. And, like, I, I, first of all, I, I always check it, always check those clothes for the spelling of the words, because sometimes Bitch, you can, I can't you, like, translate Japanese. Else. You have Google Translate. You want me to fucking stare at my keyboard it. and try to find what word it is? I'll oh take, my god! I'll, there's a camera function. I'll take function. the risk it of it saying on... something awful. Yeah, but like, it, it's everywhere. Like, I, I, I'm not saying there's like an Asian fever right now, but like, they're definitely like you can't even say there's not. Sti- you know what? I think there stylistically, is. Stylistically, there's a lot of like Asian influences with like text yeah. and whatnot. Like, there's a there's also like some like. To a smaller degree, like Russian text. Yeah, Russian text as well. I think it's because they're so foreign and different that Western Russian audiences... text looks fucking cool. Don't answer. Well, I mean, yeah, because it it, it's like it's completely fucking different to English. It's like it's like how other countries that don't speak English put English text on shirts. It's like that happens. Like it's been happening forever. Like, like it's we're just adopting it the same way, uh, and we don't know what the fuck it says because we don't fucking speak the languages. It just looks cool. That's why we wear it. Like. That's just how it is. And then, like, when it comes down to, like, anime being adopted in the U.S., like, it really shows with how many fucking original Netflix anime series there are that are just popping up out of fucking nowhere. Well, they're like, not... A, you, they just license anime from Japan and serve it on Netflix. There's yeah, very so few like, original Netflix productions. Yeah. In Japan, okay. in Japan, like, a lot of, like, Netflix originals, quote-unquote, are just, like, uh, made in foreign countries where, like, they're... That, the Like, so, Titans is being streamed on DC Universe here, but it's being streamed on a Netflix in the UK and like other parts of Europe. That's yeah, that's a copyright thing. Yeah. Yeah, basically yeah, but, like um, Netflix license it out depending on where it's from. Yeah, okay, I don't it, know why I use Titans as my example. It's just It just shows though with how much more anime is being put on Netflix, which is mainly like a western use like app I'd say. Like I, I think it's mainly used in like western countries. Um and it's like it just shows and then also at the same time it's like let's be real here. Japanese animation is way more aesthetically pleasing than fucking Western, right? Depending like Western, on the animator, but yeah. Like, like West, okay, anything but CGI anime, for the most part. Oh, you need to see um, Beastars. I know we talked about that before, but you need to see it. Yeah. Beastars uh, is like, I've only seen like first episode, but it's fucking tight. Yeah, I need to watch it. Is it on Netflix yet? Nope, you gotta watch it on uh, Kiss Anime. When so. does it come out on Netflix? Uh, I think uh, early next year. I'll wait then. Um... Uh, as if it was like a whole year though, I'd watch it. Anyway, but I mean, like um, there's there's some really nice like Western animation, like the work done on Avatar and Korra, like very yeah. good stuff. Castlevania, no, like, is yep. another but, good one. I mean, okay, generally speaking, right? Like cartoons and stuff in America have turned to a, a, like a less aesthetically pleasing animation style, like Big Mouth, for example, like you know shit like that. Like you know, and in some cases, like it matches with the show. Like I think Rick and Morty would look really weird in like anime style animation. I, I, th- I think the, <laughs> I think a lot of what you're thinking is like fucking animated sitcoms are like these really like static styles kind of thing. Uh, yeah, when I think animation? animated sitcom, I think Family Guy, Cleveland Show, American Dad. Yeah, like I literally just that's Seth like the McFarlane popular shit though, compared to the popular animes. Like what has better animation? Well, I mean like. See, like, I mean, what, what is quote-unquote animation, you know? 
Spider Verse is I don't I don't consider that the same. I consider like a I'm talking like cartoons. Like television. Yeah, like, like yeah. TV, like cartoons, like shows that you watch. That well, the thing TV. is, is that in Japan you get more action animation, you know, because there's a bigger audience for that. But you don't get Western action animation anymore. Yeah, it's all Western comedy. animation. It's used. It's comedy and usually based around writing more than it is like um, I miss ben 10. technical animation prowess. I I kind of I really do miss like action animation like Samurai Jack like when it came back that was a breath of fresh oh, air. Shit, Symbiotic shit. Titan was great and they canceled that. Yeah, Generator no. Rex was great and they canceled that. Like oh, Western action animation does cry. not do well here for some reason. Even though those are critically acclaimed even, shows. Even like fucking Korra, which had the goodwill of Avatar, like season four, like literally stopped airing on TV and only got finished by airing online. I need to watch Korra. Young Justice fucking Korra. got nipped in the bud until DC did their own streaming service. Even, to be fair, the anime, action animation on that was, like, kind of variable. When's the last time you guys were sick? Um, I think it was when I left the UK in August. I came back really fucking sick. I was sick over this last semester. Oh, uh, yeah. the whole semester? No, no, not the whole semester. Yeah, I was, I was say, tired just, of living. That sounds like a deeper issue. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But no, no, I, I was like actually sick at the beginning of last semester, and I didn't make it to one of my classes. And my professor was like, "Yeah, you look sick, but you need to bring in a doctor's note." And I was just like, "Asshole!" Like, <laughs> so then I had to go to the doctor, bro. and he's like, "Yeah, I can't give you uh, like a sick note for something that happened in the past." It's like, what? What are you like? Are you kidding me? Like, what? <laughs> contradictions i know it, it, it was so stupid but yeah i gave it to him and i was sick and that was not fun i've been sick for like the past five days. i'm still kind of sick i don't sound it as much uh i don't feel it as much either but like for the last okay so for the last two days i've been taking nyquil to sleep more fucking amazing <laughs> i've had like 16 hours of sleep <laughs> a day i like it was it was because like you know when you're sick you like you don't want to do shit like, I finished my work, and I was like, I don't even want to watch TV. <laughs> I just want to sleep. Dude, I was still going to class when I was sick. <laughs> when I'm, like, when I'm like sick, I don't want to function. Like, I don't want to be physically aware to, like, take in things. So, like, yeah, sleep. Yeah, I as just much want time to pass, dude. I just want to not be sick. <laughs> it's like I'll, like, I'll be awake to do, like, the necessary things, like making sure I'm drinking water, eating food that I need to, like, make sure that I'm fine during it. But, like, I want to sleep because that's when most of the recovery process is going to happen anyways. Yeah. Go into hibernation real cool. Like, Oh, melatonin also helps. Melatonin's great. I mean, like, then you can't fall asleep naturally. To be honest, I can't fall asleep at all anymore. I, so. I, never, no, I, I never take melatonin. I try not to. I don't to. have a dependence on it. I just take it when I really need to sleep. And, like, because, like, you know when you're, like, on a sleep schedule in the sense of, like, okay, I have this much time to sleep. If I sleep now, I'll, I'll have a good night's rest. Like, that's when I take melatonin. But I, like, need to, like, force myself to sleep so I can't get the hours in. Yeah, well, any kind of sleep aid is not good to take consistently. It's really bad to take consistently. There was, like, a, 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 a... Don't quote me, but there was something about, like, if you take, like, sleep medication, like, periodically, it, it, it damages your health a lot more than it would if you smoked a bunch of cigarettes. So, I don't quote me on that shit. That's totally, like, from prior knowledge. I don't know... I don't remember where, but I read it or heard it somewhere. All right, that's probably true though. Let's be real. So um, I ain't no. None of us have seen Star Wars yet. No, I'm seeing it Friday. Yeah, I'm... I think we're seeing it when we're both in New York, right? Yeah, we're we're gonna see it Sunday. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> have Did you guys you been the reading whole anything thing about spoiled it? on Reddit? Uh, I've been trying. Yeah, to I wa- I read all I the spoilers. The, I watched the Fortnite preview. <laughs> oh my god. Wasn't J.J. Abrams, like, literally in the Fortnite thing? <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, he was playing. Oh, fucking, you know that click clip going around of Ninja sitting next to Mark Hamill? Yeah. Is it weird that, like, I kind of felt bad for Ninja, because literally everybody was just shitting on him for sitting there? I mean, like, it's really weird. Come on. It's like, weird, but, like, he doesn't deserve to, like, you know, be, like, fucking dehumanized and, like, fucking called, like, a... A dickhead just for literally taking a like a sponsorship. A sponsorship. Thing. But no, I, ninjas. No, 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 ninjas like such a. He's so fucking brand friendly. This man, he he never fucking tweets anything of substance. 
I like I okay. Well, he there was like a tweets point. stupid shit and he gets made fun yeah, of. Yeah, no, okay. There was like um uh, there was like a point where he just kept tweeting like, "Oh man, I love gaming." He did it like three fucking times, and I just responded. I'm just like, "Is it like the third time you tweeted this shit?" Like, it's nothing of substance ever. It, it, it's when are it's any tweets nothing. of substance? Let's be real here. Like they're, they're right. just like, like they inherently bad. don't have substance. His are like no, no no his are like way worse than anyone else. Like Pokimane, she tweets with her like her own like personality and shit. But Ninja's like Twitter is like a fucking brand Twitter account. I mean a lot like, of his it is like a brand about, Twitter account. A lot I'm looking of at it tweet, now. A lot of his tweets though are like about like his thoughts on like games at the moment and whatnot. I'm sure a lot of these are like contractually obligated shit for like the Adidas. <laughs> Contra- contractually obligated opinions. <laughs> no, contractually <laughs> obligated like retweets, like for the fucking Adidas. Thing. Yeah, for like the NZXT computers and ninja I'm shoes. To, I'm trying to find like the tweets, but like I swear to God, he's tweeted like multiple times, like, "Oh man, I love gaming. Oh, gaming is great." <laughs> Did you see when he tweeted about like uh, I think he was talking about football? And he was explaining how, like, a kicker's job is... Yeah, I saw that. I was like, what is the context, and why would you even try to tweet this? Oh, my God. It was so funny. He was like, oh, all kickers do is kick. It's so easy. It was like, bruh, like... <laughs> you play Fortnite, and then you're gonna try and tell a football player how to, like, do Listen, job. bro, I can... Dude, I can fucking, like, lose all my money at 32, dog. Like, I don't... It's not that hard. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, his Twitter seems really empty. Like, in terms of, like, personality. Like, I can't yeah, discern what it, kind of person he is. And it's like, you know, I, I get it. Like, you want to be, you, you don't want, like, too many opinions. You you want to make sure you're brand friendly and shit. Like, there's people that are, like, at the same size, you know, that do tweet with substance and actually have a personality. But he he just doesn't. It's just, like, I th- uh, like, all only thing I think of is, like, Gaming is great. Da, da, da. Like, <laughs> this 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 whole segment went from me feeling bad for Ninja to you guys shitting on him even more. But like, well, it's not the, my fault. His Twitter's like this. I mean, like, uh, but like looking through like the endless retweets and shit saying he's streaming, I feel like the thing that comes across is yeah, he's a gamer. Not in just that he says he loves gaming, but also most of his like personality tweets are things he's frustrated with and games that he's playing or like things that he like wishes would return and whatnot. Like how he's like really was really excited for Halo coming out and whatnot. Yeah, and like yeah, how he was he was sad about like gunfight just fucking like being shit nowadays. If Ninja like if Ninja like tweets at a game, it's like it's it's like super respectful. It's like I do not. Respect I I him. always <laughs> think he was paid to say it. Like there's never a moment where I don't think it was like a paid tweet. Like he has a you know what? I first of all one I really hate all these damn celebrities on YouTube. You see Robert Downey Jr. got a YouTube original. Bro, I'm gonna, I saw that shit, and I was about to say, I'm going to watch the shit of that shit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm going to fuck my God. Do you, do you think Robert Downey Jr. actually knows anything about AI? No, like, I don't care. Man. All I care. Do well, you think half the narrators man. on these shits know what they're talking about? It only Well, at least when Vsauce does a YouTube original, you know he cares, and remember, that he knows what he's talking Jarvis, about. Remember Jarvis? Is it a quality Jarvis? performance? Oh, my God. Remember Jarvis? What I'm saying is that a YouTube original should be... Oh, with who? A YouTuber. Like, there's, there's, who's that lady that makes the robots on YouTube? Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. I yeah, I'm name. drawing a blank she, on her name. I can made, picture her face right now. She made a Tesla pickup truck. Exactly. Like, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, what, yeah. Where, where's her YouTube show about AI? She literally makes robots for a job. Or like Michael Reeves. Or Michael Reeves. Michael or, Reeves uh, is great. Fucking, <laughs> or fucking, uh, who, who is the NASA guy? Uh, oh my God. NASA guy? Yeah, former engineer at NASA, now he... Mark Rober. Yeah, there's, like, all these people who could have YouTube originals. But instead, Robert Downey Jr. gets it. But it's Robert Downey Jr., man! I don't care it's if it's Robert... Get the hell out of here with all this fucking Disney shit. I'm so done with it's it. It's Iron Man! I'll be real with you. Like, I've never really had a problem with celebrities being on the platform, only that YouTube simultaneously supports its creators as well, which is where I think they're lacking. That's the, that's the, my problem too. That's exactly in, I agree. inherently like making these celebrities not do the thing that they're doing currently isn't gonna just make create like creators instantly supported. They can do both, and I don't see how RDJ being on the platform or hosting an AI thing hurts other people who they like also get this kind of series. Well, I what I'm saying is it, it just it it defeats what the platform like what makes it <coughs> different from other platforms. <coughs> it's not the same platform as it was five years ago. It's it's <coughs> what makes it different. It's oh, like that's for sure. It's very much a mainstream thing. Second most traffic in in like all of like on the entire internet. 
So it's like, yeah, it's driven a lot more by corporations than maybe it used to be. So that's like a big part of it. I it, look. I, I would just like <coughs> I would be more inclined to subscribe to YouTube Premium. One, if they made it easy to access the shows, and two, if there were more shows that actually have creators. In my opinion, you know? <coughs> like think think that. about the things that some of these people on the platform could do, like Michael Reeves or God. Her name's on the tip of my tongue. It begins with an S. But, uh, like, any of those people could do if they had, like, a bigger budget. Like, you saw what Vsauce was able to do. And then Good Mythical Morning also had a show, but it wasn't, like, promoted that much, really. I know they promoted what, it on their what show. What was their show? God, I see, th- this, is a f- this is a problem. <laughs> you know, like, this. I- I'm certain they have ideas, but it's like, who's coming to them to get those ideas to make them happen? Oh, no. That's their channel, by the way. Okay, I'm looking at it now. I don't want to butcher the name. Yeah, I don't want to butcher a name. It's... (laughs) (laughs) Just look up the Tesla. We don't know how to pronounce it. We don't know how to pronounce Uh, it. Let me... (laughs) Google, help us out. How to pronounce this name. I want to say Simone? Simone Gertz? Yeah, I want to say Simone. Simone... Simone... Simone Gertz. Simone. (laughs) This is fucking... Ah, God, this is awful, dude. I feel so bad. There's just, I don't know, there's so much out there, and I feel like they just don't recognize it, like, at all, personally. I just don't think they do. You're not wrong. <coughs> no, I feel like, um, the thing with, like, Robert Downey Jr., it's like, they're obviously taking the safe bet of, like, oh, big celebrity man. Like, he, he'd be great at this, because, like, Iron Man and Jarvis. Well, it's gonna get advertisers. People will want to be on yeah, the platform. Exactly. Yeah. Um, like, that's why. I mean, I think YouTube is, like, with, in the sense of picking up celebrities for YouTube Premium, um, it's more of, like, that's, like, a short-term building, you know? Like, that's, like, a short-term build, and then, like, using creators would be long-term. Yeah, like, getting, like, those viewers in the short-term who are like, ooh, new RDJ thing? I go look now. They, perhaps they see something else on Premium that catches their eye by a creator, and they get pulled into YouTube's, YouTube's ecosystem through that. But the, the part of the issue is is that there's no way to access the YouTube pre- like there's no YouTube pre like there's no Netflix, you know. There's no YouTube the, premium recommended. It's the either. original yeah. tab. Like no, it, it's pretty it's pretty janky. It's just buried like, in fucking like, all the content. I have premium and there's not like it would be so simple as like right yeah. below the home tab if you have premium, it's just like a tab that says premium. You click on that and it shows you all the exclusive programming. Ew. I clicked it and it's just Liza Koshy show and fucking the fitting with Logan Paul and oh oh wait it, it's it's called originals it's called originals why is it yeah, just called premium it's literally the originals tab um, where does it originals tab it's right, it's right under, under subscriptions. subscriptions if you have YouTube Premium it's there um, uh, okay ew daydreams of Roman Atwood <laughs> I mean listen they're making these creator shows. It doesn't like guarantee they're good though. I I, I know. I feel like the thing is, they, t- they picked the wrong people. <laughs> they picked the most like popular people, which is dude. Like, if Michael what, Reeves, which are, like any... arguably the ones that are like most suited to do like something on this larger scale. If Michael Reeves had a fucking budget and was just given electronics, it would be amazing. <laughs> I feel like the o- one of the only good um, like youtube shows by a youtuber is minefield at the moment i haven't watched scare pd the thing is is i haven't watched any of the other ones because they don't put them in a way for me to get like i'm clicking the youtube premium tab guys it's not like i'm not trying and it just keeps sending me back to the page to apply for it because i have another account that has like youtube premium attached so you yeah you'll need to be in that account then (laughs) Yeah, I, I know, you know, and I'm what? in that account, but, like, I you can't reach it. Hold up. Try you know YouTube. I just, just go noticed? to this link, see if it works this way. You know what I just Jesus. noticed? Okay, I mean... There's, like... There's, like, no proper way to search just for originals. It, it Like, this tab has all the originals, and then if you... And if you search, you might not get it as the first result on YouTube because it's, it's intertwined with the regular search engine. If you, you look might up, get something else. If you look up originals, to be fair, uh, it just comes up with the channel that it's all hosted on. Yeah. Uh, I guess you could search it from Like, there. this Retro Tech with Marcus Brownlee, I, I haven't watched that. I'll give that a watch Past just to see what land, it's like because I don't, I don't think you do a bad job. There's an I'm anime. Kinda... What do you th- It's an anime on here. Paranormal Action Squad with Vanoss. 
rough. No, it's just like there's such a there's such like a like a, a low select like there's just nothing. There's not enough content. Like compared to like something like Netflix, I'm like I know that they're, they're not gonna get to like Netflix's level fucking overnight, right? But like compared to Netflix level, like it is, it's like one person. It's not even one percent of what Netflix. Part of had. the issue with YouTube Premium or like the originals section, it's like. The fact that it's only YouTube produced stuff, part of like the biggest draw of Netflix is not their originals. It's all the other content for, that has his, like history behind it, like Friends and fucking The Office that's all being on there as well. Like YouTube, if they wanted to do like to build up the surface, they need to bulk up like their backlog of other like third party made series, which would cost them who knows how much, and could arguably go against that idea of it being used to boost up creators or some shit. Oh, I found the anime you're talking about. <laughs> Honestly, I can't, like, it's really hard for me to, like, look at this from, like, a like a viewer's perspective. Because, like, I've been on the platform for so long, I see some of these faces and these fucking, like, these, like, covers, and I'm just like, I know, I'm like, who like, are you people? Lele Pons like and Fousey Tube? What the fuck? Yeah, like, who, like, why do they have a movie? <laughs> they have a movie. That would make a great video. I might do that. Oh, why not? <laughs> like, it's like, I look at these, like, images, and I'm just like, yeah, what the fuck hell? <laughs> why are they here? Like, it, it's just, like, really biased. Cause like I've been I've been around for so long and they're like Fight of the Living Dead. It's like Boozy Tube's there. It's like why <laughs> Ghostmates fucking Paul with like, Smash Jake fucking Paul. And, and another thing is as well is like these are YouTubers. They're not actors. You're you're not making like this content isn't what they should really be making if they were on YouTube Premium. Like they should be making something in their sphere that like they can do really well with a budget. Like, mm -hmm. for example, like, Michael Reeves, it's like, you could make him, like, literally make mechs fight each other. Like, AI fucking mechs fight each other. <laughs> we we are just really, budget. like, propping up Michael Reeves today. <laughs> Bro, okay, his shit's great. All right? I know. When a Roomba screams at a target when it fucking bumps into something, it's amazing. Okay? And, like, I'm, he does that shit on the cheap. Imagine what he could do with a proper budget. You know? Like, that would be fucking amazing. Like, or, or like, pitting YouTubers against each other who work with robots and AI and shit and have them make robots fight each other. Like, that would be entertaining. Give them a budget, make something like that no, happen. I, and like, I'm certain it has we the can, amateur appeal. We could come up with better ideas for YouTube originals than the executives, but the, the reason, like, a lot of executives will pick a making a show like Foursome, right, is because, one, they probably had the script sitting in a room somewhere and it cost them, like, $500 to buy. You know, so they get a whole season of a show, and it's just, like, already there, it's already done. And then all they have to do to get people to watch it is cast YouTubers or creators that people know already. And, and like you said, that's that's the problem, because they can't act. What they don't do is act, right? Can that's why everybody it? mocks YouTubers who go into acting, because they're always bad. You know what would be a great premium series on YouTube? What? Snoop Dogg narrates Planet Earth. That would be really funny. Just Isn't like that a thing? Like that was like I it's like a meme. It's like a really short snippet, but like a whole fucking series. You remember when they did the <laughs> Snoop Vision for April Fools that one year? Who did? Uh, Google, YouTube. Snoop Vision. Snoop, Snoop Vision. It was like uh, you. It was like an April Fools thing where like you could press the button on a video and you would be watching the video in a 360 degree room with Snoop Dogg sitting next oh, to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I it was the that. same video every time. If you I remember it. that. You're like right next to him. You're just watching a fucking movie. That was such yeah, a good yeah. gag. No, but, like, you know, funny shit like that, like, I think they're trying too hard to make these, like, you know, fucking, like, actual TV shows with people who aren't actors, who aren't experienced with TV, and it's like, you should put them in an environment where they thrive, not a brand new environment where they have to try to thrive, like, just something that they're already comfortable with and they're familiar with, because I, I think that would do a lot better. I don't know, I don't think, like, that's ever gonna be a case because you're all like when doing a series is inherently different than well minefield videos. for example was exactly that and look how well that turned out like well, that's i mean literally what he does and what he's comfortable with yeah but i mean most youtubers creators they don't make these full-scale productions vsauce is probably one of the few people that has that kind of experience and even then talking on h3 he said he was still out of his like out of his depth in certain places because of how much different some of the way everything is coordinated oh, yeah, is no that's that's obviously like gonna there's happen. Like every any YouTuber being picked to make some kind of series is going to like be inexperienced at a lot of what they have to do. Um, well, they're going the from not from being their own boss to having an executive producer and a writing team and all these people that want the project to be a different way than that what they envisioned. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm not saying like they're gonna be a hundred percent comfortable, but I'm saying like 
What would you rather have? A YouTuber who does, like, fucking prank videos? Like, would you rather have a YouTuber who does fucking prank videos uh, in a fucking love romance fucking movie thing? Or would you rather have him doing pranks or something where he can actually do something that he's familiar with? Because, like, Love romance, because that'd be so much funnier. But those are two, like, Could you really imagine Vitaly actor? in a fucking romantic comedy? He's, he's like, uh, Julia, I didn't mean what I said. I was being rash, <laughs> and I'm taking steroids right now. Julia, I didn't mean what I said. It's a prank. <laughs> Please, forgive me, Julia. <laughs> but, like, if you know. gave a prank YouTuber, like, a big budget to make, like, a jackass-style TV show or movie, <gasps> that would be, like, so much better, and I'm pretty I'm, sure dude, people would like get, that. If they gave Nelk a jackass budget, dude. Yo, how did how did Joey Garcefa get three fucking seasons? On I don't know. Shit? It literally looks like it's, <laughs> when you look at those TV shows, like the the like the Liza Koshy thing, or the uh, what is it? The I forgot her name. Lele Pons thing, or you look at stuff like that. It literally just looks like a like a, what's 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 the word I'm looking for? It looks like you're just jacking yourself off, because that's all it looks like. Like you can't tell me that Joey Garcefa thing doesn't already look like. This is an excuse for Joey Graceffa to be pretend famous, you know. I feel I feel like uh, the multiple seasons might have been like a stipulation in the contract, like you're on for more than one season, like by signing this con- this initial contract or something, or maybe they just like were just it was popular with a niche that just not is that just is not us. I mean, depending on whether or not the first season does good, right, will determine whether or not a show comes back. But in the age of like streaming, you order multiple shows even before it's like done so whether or not yeah, like, like he did one season and they're like we're gonna order two more you know or like we're gonna order more you, you, like you just don't know it literally like it depends on like how they're handling it behind the scenes and like what they see on the analytics because yeah you know. and like for like the whole like uh shows being approved far in advance thing like rick and morty was approved for 70 episodes in season three like they're pre-approved right off the bat after season three and it's like yeah just make fucking 70 more like then we'll talk later like it was such a big fucking amount also let me just say what the fuck why did it take so fucking long for season four <laughs> the fuck dan Harmon like did some weird shit and it got fucking canceled and then he cried for like i don't know six months or something and then it never just it never came out like that that's the way <laughs> i fucking see it because like well it was like some really fucking weird shit and like uh, i don't even know if people fucking remember because it's so old like uh it was i think it was like I don't even want to say the word because I, I I don't know for sure. Uh, fucking, it was like you know you know what I'm talking about, right? Like some someone dug up some really old weird. Yeah, he there was like Armin some weird thing. like kind of creepy like skit he did that didn't go over well. Yeah, and then like and then he just disappeared off of Twitter, and then Rick and Morty was delayed for like fucking twenty years. Like that's all that happened. I don't know. I'm looking. Uh, I, do you know they have a Fruit Ninja television show on YouTube Premium? That is. Awful. I, like, how did that even happen? Like, <laughs> what? Like, how? Like, is there what enough of an the audience for the Fruit thing? Ninja fandom? Do like, they, do they just do they just fucking slice fruits? I'm looking at the trailer right now. Literally, they're just throwing fruit at each other and like cutting it into pieces, and they all have big swords. And then there's an enemy who's dressed as a watermelon. And he shoots fruits at them, and they break it. That's it. I assume huh. that's as far as a... Oh, they, they, they know the long-lost art of juice jitsu. You know what? YouTube is really fucking bad at doing anything besides making an algorithm for free content. It is so fucking awful at anything besides videos. Like, original content. They are so shit at making this, this like, accessible, easy to use easy to search they are so fucking bad at it and then on top of that they have live streaming and like i barely recognize that it fucking exists it's in the gaming section on youtube it's not even in like its own like live stream. it's in the gaming section the fucking gaming section who the fuck goes to youtube gaming who does we also like, have youtube stories oh yeah who the fuck uses that shit the which doesn't work like the, the community tab is, like, one of the only good fucking things YouTube's, like, put out in, like, the past, uh, I don't know, fucking five years. It's, like, a new feature. <laughs> like, it's, like, the only good thing. And, like, even then, like, the way they execute it on the homepage is, like, kind of wonky. Like, yeah, because you get community posts for somebody you don't even subscribe to. Yeah, like, the community post is just really good for, like, updating on the channel page and people can go and check and see updates and shit. That's why I think it's really good. I also um, like the stories. 
I, I have literally never clicked a fucking YouTube story in my goddamn life. I clicked like one of ever. Linus Tech Tips saying, oh, they added YouTube, <laughs> they added stories to YouTube, and, like, the quality was ass. <laughs> like, YouTube's trying to do everything, they should really just be focusing on what they're good at, and, like, with YouTube Premium, or, like, YouTube Originals, or, or whatever, it should honestly be a different fucking website. It should not be on the same site. I think they're trying to use their, their number two site position to drive traffic to literally everything when they can just make links that link to different websites, you know, like hyperlinks and shit. Because, um, like, YouTube's technically, besides Google, the most visited web page in the world. Um, and Google's the most visited, because let's be real, it's, it's Google. It's what everyone uses for the search engine. So, YouTube Originals. You know there's a fashion tab for channel. YouTube as well? This like, is just, just a tab, though. Like this. Yeah, is but on, it, like, it literally, it's like it's all about like women show wear. Welcome to the front row seat at fashion. Blah blah blah. Okay, this see this is my thing point. Like I clicked that link, right? Oh, I'm on the originals tab. That's great. But where do I search? You can't. There's no search. Like you can't reach Scare PewDiePie unless you go to PewDiePie's channel. Yeah, I understand they canceled the show, but like it's still yeah, a YouTube original. And like, oh, there's genres like oh dramas, comedi like com comedians, documentaries. But like, why can't they just click the genre I want? By the way, a documentary I heard is good on YouTube originals. I haven't watched it, but it's called The Boy Band Con, um, which is about um, B Lou Pearlman. Yes. No, no, no. Uh, I think he has to do with the Backstreet Boys. He was kind of like absolutely horrible. Um, What'd you say it was called, Diesel? The boy band con. Well, Diesel, I can't see it because it's not here. <laughs> is it? Is it the YouTube Premium? Yeah. Oh, I can't see it. It's not here. It's not featured. So how how do I search for this? Oh yeah, if I do, I'll I won't get the results. Oh my I god, there's a cartoon on YouTube Originals with John Diesel, Cena. Diesel, can you give me the name one more time so I can search it? <laughs> the boy band con. Oh wow. It gives me a bunch of different things called the Boy Band Con. Which one's he, the he, fucking first? Here, here's <laughs> the thing. Here's the thing, right? So Gabe Newell says that people pirate games because there isn't an easy way for them to get games, right? So if you come up with an, a solution that makes it easy for somebody to get something, they will do that thing instead of going through the risk of, you know, pirating yeah. it and possibly getting a virus. No, that, that's entirely correct. Convenience like, is the ultimate tool. Look yes. at, like, look at fucking music, for example. Like... Like, let's be real here. Who the fuck bought music in 2005? Like, you use Napster. My fucking parents didn't buy music in 2005. Yeah. <laughs> LimeWire hours. LimeWire. Like, the... YouTube to MP3 and then put on my phone hours. <laughs> Literally, yeah. No, no one, like, and then Spotify came along and I'm like, hey guys, I heard you want convenience. And everyone's like, holy shit. Or like iTunes, I guess. But, like, even iTunes was kind of like. Yeah, and then the integration now. with Spotify and Apple Music and all that shit with other, um, other like programs and like services has made it like even more convenient to just like listen to music with your friends share music and like in a way that like wasn't before which makes pirating and like uh, other ways around it even uh less like appealing and honestly i can't get over the fact that i can't search for youtube originals and only youtube originals and yeah. maybe like there's a maybe there's which an this is why people the... will look for other ways to watch it which is exactly the problem <laughs> there's there's not even a filter in the filter section to only filter to originals. It's it there's none. Like it is such well, there's an like afterthought. ten originals out there. <laughs> all all of YouTube's new shit is such a fucking afterthought. Like YouTube gaming, like where do I even get to that anymore? Oh, right here. More from YouTube. All the way at the fucking bottom. There's also a movies and shows section. Did you know you could buy movies and shows on YouTube? I had did no you know idea. That? I yeah. did yeah. Like, most people don't fucking know that shit. I bought Rick and Morty Season 4 on YouTube because I, I don't have a way to watch it in Adult Swim. So I just bought it on YouTube, and I can just watch it from YouTube. But let me tell you something. It is a fucking pain in the ass to find the episode I want to fucking watch. It is awful. Like, YouTube shit. Like, they're so fucking bad at their jobs. Like, <laughs> holy shit. How? Brand is heated. But it's, like, it's like you are this fucking mess. You are the second most visited on the fucking site on the planet besides Google, the search engine. And you can't even fucking make shit easy. Like, you can't have different tabs for stuff like shows and movies and like actually link me to a different website where I can watch it. But it's just or bleh, or somewhere where I can search. Like, why does the search bar always just bring me to YouTube? Like, I type in some random shit and it comes up with this frezzy plays motherfucker. Like, excuse me? I was in the movies and shows tab. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? <laughs> it's just so dumb.
<laughs> God damn, I haven't seen you this heated in a while. <laughs> well, it's like, what, what kind of fucking monkey designed no, this shit? No, no, no don't, like, don't get me wrong. It's like, this is the part of the stuff that bothers the shit out of me, and it's why it makes me so angry with how YouTube you acts. Why does YouTube have a fashion section? You know, it's Ooh. like, I, I get frustrated because I don't want to see YouTube be shit, like... I'm, I'm sorry to all of us here, like, we want it to be the best we can be. Oh, Diesel, like, look, look, Diesel, I clicked the live stream section. I'm going to type in Fortnite now. Oh, look at that. It brings me to fucking videos. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Quite, I feel like you haven't spoken a lot this episode. How you doing? <laughs> oh, what? I, I've been zoned out. You were zoned out. <laughs> yeah, I know. He can just keep going and going. Don't worry about him. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking sick. Stupid. No, like, it, it, okay, so, like, do you guys get where I'm coming, like, you don't have to agree with me on Robert Downey Jr., but, like, you get where I'm coming from. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. Yeah, like, it just, it, it irritates the shit out of me. I feel like they just keep making all these decisions because they, like, went to a, like, a board of, like, not even, like, normies, but, like, uber smooth brand people, and they're like, we like, uh, Iron Man, I'm like, all right, we got to get Iron Man for a TV show. You Could you imagine how expensive it is to get Robert Downey Jr. for your TV show? Come on. Nothing like, to Google. I mean, it's nothing to Google, but think about all the things that could fund, you know? Like, he's one of the highest paid actors. Cancer research? I mean, yeah, obviously cancer research. Hee, hee, hee. Very funny. But like, Documentary on cancer research? I mean, yeah, that too. But, like, I mean, like, the Michael Cody Reeves Cody thing is... cancer research? Fuck you. Like, I'm the Michael Reeves thing this. is a perfect, like, example of that, you know? I yeah. take it back, by the way. You know what? Monkeys aren't designing you two. Fucking koalas are. Those smooth brain motherfuckers. Sloss. Sloss and koalas. They, that's what, who's running you two. Like, holy shit. I'm I, sure it actually, makes sense to them, but I have no idea what they're up to anyway. I so. honestly did not realize it was this fucking bad. Like, because I only... Because, like, I never use this shit. I never fucking use, like, I never use it. I never go on the fucking premium tab. I never go on the fucking live tab. Like, they're like, YouTube's like, oh, I wonder why our fucking shit isn't doing too well on live streams and gaming. It's because you fucking people don't know how to design anything. Like, all right. I I think we've hit the nail on the head. Do you guys want to wrap it up here? Even before this, this episode gets taken down because we bullied YouTube. Oh, yeah. The guideline the changes. Big mean, big mean we company. didn't even talk about any decade things or anything, like... YouTube, we can do that, we can YouTube do that for the made episode. it stupid. Okay, that's the decade thing. You can do it for the New Year's episode. The New Year's episode, sure. First one in 2020. Yeah, first 2020, loud mouths. Uh, it was a good year. <laughs> I guess. All right. All right, I'm out right now. Thank you guys for watching. YouTube's fucking poo poo pee pee brain. Um, check us out on YouTube, uh, Spotify, uh, <laughs> Google. <laughs> YouTube sucks iTunes, anyway. Subscribe. SoundCloud. <laughs> uh, you know all that shit. Uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye. Happy New Year. <laughs>